gonna go over some basic SRT and uh, just some 101, just basic practices, a few need to knows for someone just getting started and uh, I'm gonna go over the gear we're gonna use real quick. We're gonna set some lines and then I'm gonna show some anchors and a little bit of technique on how to get up a tree. I am by no means the best at SRT, but I know some basics and I figure I could pass what little knowledge I have onto someone who is interested in prolonging their career with better techniques. So let's go over some gear. So first off, we have throw line. I got 200 feet of Dynaglide here. It's a notch cube kind of falling apart. And then I use three different size bags. I got 12 ounce, 10 ounce, 14 ounce each one has its application and we're going to use tree motion saddle petzl zillion la lanyard hank of samson mercury some samson velocity and yale focus and as far as the srt gear goes we're going to use a hitch climber setup you can use this for double rope or single rope with the uh, with the rope wrench added on there as we're going to do and uh, some EpiCord hitch climber. We'll go over what this is for in a little bit. A singing tree rope runner, a Petzl zigzag, also used for double rope or single rope with the chicane added to it. We have a four SRT foot loop, a Sokka mini with a conversion to make it into a original Sokka, a CT foot ascender, and a chest harness made by Paul uh, Didier, I might have said his last name wrong if I did uh, correct me and always wear your lid I got protos right there as soon as uh, I don't even throw a line in a tree I don't even throw a line in a tree without my lid on it could hit you in the head and really hurt so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some line set and there's some other gear I forgot to mention that we're gonna be using for canopy anchors so we have a singing tree quickie we have a Delta link with an obscene wrench on it these are for set in your canopy anchor midline there is a ring i think this is an isc ring aluminum um, i like using that setting my canopy anchor from the ground if i isolate a crotch and then a friction saver my favorite canopy anchor a slippery anchor to attach my throw balls and I'm not a big fan of using the loop so right make a loop come in tighten it up and then when you want to pull it out just pull that comes right off so we just set the ring can be anchor uh, it's a pretty short piece of rope but tie an alpine butterfly a really long loop that might be kind of short but we'll see take your ring through the loop around so it looks like that because this is such a short piece of rope we're going to take our throw line it through here. And we're going to send it up. So, see that? Let's send it up. Pull up. So that'll be plenty fine. Okay. Again, Alpine butterfly. We're gonna use the quickie on this one. Pretend we're setting this midline in the tree.
this is most commonly used on uh, like pine trees. Pine trees, because it's really hard to isolate a crotch on a pine. So we'll set a basal anchor. You throw your line up over a good union. Rope comes down on the other side of the tree, and you tie off on the base. The issue with basal anchoring is that uh, each leg of rope takes 100% of your body weight. So that means that the union that your rope is around takes 200%. It's double your weight up top. So if your union breaks, let's say the branch that you're on breaks and it's a six inch drop to the next branch. So each leg of rope takes six inches of fall. So you actually end up falling, the climber, 12 inches. And the dynamic forces at play when you fall are pretty, pretty gnarly. So we're gonna set up a basal anchor here. Basal anchors are rescuable from the ground, which is really nice. Uh, and I'll show you how to set that up as well. Yosemite finish. If it would work for me. Now to dress this up, you pull the bowl in first. Tighten up the bowl in first, then the you finish. Bowl in finish. Yosemite finish. And you don't need a stop or not in Yosemite, but, you know, never hurts. Make this retrievable. Bring some leg down. Tie an alpine butterfly in there. Not retrievable, rescuable, excuse me. tree up in the canopy let's say you get injured somebody can hook up their climbing system to this take the weight off untie your basil and they can let you down from the ground from right here with their climbing system so it's pretty neat so on the petzl chicane you need this petzl amd carabiner amd right there because it's the only beaner see how it's got the grooves it's the only beaner that will fit in the chicane right there. And when you get into the canopy, you can take this off, switch over to double rope if you're running the zigzag. in your knee ascender and then you clip in your chest harness to whatever tendon point you have I don't typically use this so I'm not really set up for it but we're gonna go ahead and go up so you can see what it's like
pulling my body weight up with my hands. My hands were only there to kind of keep me steady as I'm going up. We're using our legs. And we're going like a backwards, oops, like pedaling a bike backwards. Okay, like that. We're gonna go ahead and head down. Now, it is really fast to repel on a chicane with the zigzag. So go easy, because it's pretty easy to lose control too. Just kind of keep that in mind. You want to start off low and slow. Always low and slow. Give yourself some practice, practice your form. You know, figure out how your system is working with you and how you're working with your system. So I'll show you this next one. So now we have a hitch climber set up. That's this pulley here. We got a Rock Exotica Pirates, a really good carabiner for this, and Rope Logic rope wrench with an ISC rope wrench or Rope Logic tether, excuse me, ISC rope wrench. And I have a nut hitch right here. I, I like. So now we're in the canopy, you know, we're on our base anchor, basal anchor. We got our rope wrench set up, we're landed in, we're nice and comfy, right? Let's say we're in a prime location, but we need to advance a little higher. So what we can do is we can just haul her down to ground crew to untie our basal anchor. Like I said, make sure that you're good and set up. I'm actually tied into a dead branch right now, so I'm not untying anything. But hypothetically, we're in a nice, comfortable position. But we need to keep going. So you haul her up a ground crew, or haul her down a ground crew. They untie your basal anchor. You get it back up to you. Now you can keep working single line and keep setting a canopy anchor, or you can take your rope wrench off and switch over to double rope, go up to where you need to go, and then work from there. Another cool thing too. Let's say, let's go ahead and pull some slack here. Let's say we're going out on a really funky limb walk, and it's going to be a gnarly swing to get back where we're going. Okay. So, this is a handy tool that I use. Just a prusik loop. And you just take this. Just make a prusik. You know, tend it, make it nice. It's going to be a little slippy at first. All right? Take your beaner, put it through there, and you tend your line up. Okay? You take this into your line. You put it through there. So let's go ahead. So let's you're on that funky limb walk. You just grab this tail, keep this tail with you. Like put it on a beaner on your saddle or something. Then when you're done with your limb walk, you just grab this and you pull. Then you don't have to go for any gnarly swings that are kind of uncomfortable, so on and so forth. And it's really handy, you know, just kind of a piece of kit I usually keep on my gear whenever I'll be doing a big canopy tree. Because I know I, I do a lot of, most of my climbing I do a single line. And we do, a, you know, there's some, sometimes you get into a limb walk where you're just kind of like, you know, I really don't want to swing 20 feet back to the tree because it might hurt. It's also a lot of fun, but this way you can stay controlled. So we're gonna go over form now. See if I can kind of get across the technique for climbing up single rope and try and get that bicycle pedal. Because uh, you can descend very quickly, very fast, and uh, get into the canopy and get to work record time. Uh, 
you can get your throw ball in there. This would be a good one, it's wide open. set up one of my favorite canopy anchors now and that's with a friction saver the reason why this is one of my favorites is because when you are tied off in a canopy anchor on the quickie that I showed or the ring or that delta link um, because the systems are locked together you know you tied off you're locked together that when you go to retrieve it there is going to be friction where they're locked together so you're kind of limited to one or two redirects whereas with a basal anchor you can go over as many redirects as you want and you can still retrieve it or with this this way you're not working off a basal anchor and you're worried about someone cutting your line or you cutting your line or so you just throw it over the crotch you want right throw it over the crotch you want you know we're up in the tree we want to we want to get after it we want to have fun so you go in through the big ring first, whereas double rope you go through the small ring because you're going to retrieve it back this way. You go in through the big first for a canopy anchor on single line. You get to the ground, you know, you pull your slack all the way to the ground. You set an alpine butterfly. And do I have... back it up with a carabiner. You can leave it dangling like this. I like to cinch it back to itself. You pull that tight, right? Now, you got your system on this leg, and you're just working off of this. This is your retrieval. You know, this so you can pull it back. And you can do whatever you want with this. You can move around the tree in every direction. And when you go to retrieve it, you put a knot, like an overhand knot, so it can pass through here, catch the small ring, and put a retrieval ball. From the ground, you just pull. Little catch, pull this out. And I think that'll about do it for kind of single line 101. I'm sure there's a shit ton I missed, um, but I'll be happy to answer any questions as far as my experience level will allow me to. I uh, just like to see people you know, prolong their career instead of having to hip thrust up a trees, and this is a really efficient way of access. And I prefer working off of single line more than anything. Uh, so I hope that helps somebody and uh, like I said if you have any questions uh, just feel free to ask and I'll, uh, I'll answer any way I can I mean there's there's a bunch more and I'll, I'll try and make another video uh, more in-depth in the canopy next time I'm kind of pressed for time today so I just did did what I could and uh, hope everyone has a, has a has a great productive work week and climb high climb safe